Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got something special lined up for you today. We're putting two heavy hitters against each other, the Walther PDP and the Springfield Echelon. Who's gonna take the crown? Stay tuned until the end to find out. Before we dive in, if you wanna show the channel some love, check out the link in the description. It's packed with our affiliate links. When you use them, it helps us keep the lights on and the content flowing, and it won't cost you an extra dime. And hey, if you haven't already, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate your support. All right, let's jump into the video. Just a heads up, both pistols are completely stocked to ensure a fair fight. That being said, let's start by comparing the barrels on these two. The Walther PDP sports a four inch polygonal rifling with a step down chamber and polished feeding Ramp. This barrel design has its ups and downs. On the upside, the step down chamber ensures that the bullet is perfectly aligned, which should boost accuracy. They also claim that the pistol stays cleaner because the casing seals better in the chamber. On the downside, the better seal in the chamber can make the recoil feel snappier. I also had a few malfunctions with extracting spent casings when using steel cased ammo. My guess is that the steel casings expand more than brass, causing them to get stuck in the chamber. The ash line, on the other hand, comes with a 4.5 inch hammer forged barrel and polished feeding. Rant. The Hammer Forge barrel is robust and durable, and it also contributes to improve the accuracy. In this round, I think the Echelon takes this one. I'd rather have the Hammer Forge barrel over the step down chamber. This way, I could use any ammo I want, and the recoil won't feel as snappy. Now, let's talk about the slides. The PDP sports what Walther is calling super terrain serrations. In my opinion, these are a mixed bag. They offer a solid grip for press checks or locking the slide to the rear, but they also add some bulk to the slide, making the pistol a bit thicker to conceal. On the flip side, the Echelon has some seriously aggressive slide serrations, and I think they're fantastic. The forward serrations make charging or performing a press check a breeze. Plus, the flared rear of the slide makes it easy to slingshot. For me, the Echelon takes this one too. Its serrations are not only aesthetically pleasing and work great, but they also don't add any unnecessary thickness to the slot. The PDP comes with a very nice factory trigger. It has a little bit more pre-travel than I prefer, but it hits a defined wall with just a little bit of creep and a crisp break. The reset is short, tactile, and pushes your finger out a little bit during the reset. The Echelon also has a good factory trigger. It has less pre-travel than the PDP, it hits a defined wall, a little bit more creep than the PDP, and then a crisp break. The reset is short, but it's not as tactile and audible as I'd like it to be, and it doesn't push your finger out during the reset. In this round, the PDP edges out the Echelon. Next up, the optic system. With the PDP, you get to pick one optic plate, and Walther will send it out to you for free. Sounds great, right? But there's a couple of downsides to consider. Sure, you score a free mounting plate, but you gotta wait for Walther to ship it to you. Plus, that mounting plate raises your optic a bit, so the chances are you won't be able to co-witness with your stock iron sights. And if you ever want to switch up your optic, you'll have to buy another mounting plate. The Echelon, however, sports the Viz system. It uses pins that can be placed in various positions to accommodate over 30 different optics. Plus, you don't need any mounting plates, which allows the optic to sit really low. This is a bonus because then you can co-witness your optic with with the factory iron sights. The Echelon clearly wins this round. When it comes to the iron sights, the PDP falls short here. It comes with low plastic sights that can't be co-witnessed with your optic and they can't be seen in the dark. Just plain white dots on the front and rear sights. In my opinion, you'll want to swap these out right away. The Echelon that I have features Springfield's U-notch rear sight and a Trinium front sight with a luminescent ring. I got used to the rear U-notch quickly and they get the job done. The Echelon wins this one as well. The iron sights are taller, made of metal, and usable at night. Moving on to the grips, the PDP has a fantastic grip. It feels great in hand thanks to the palm swell and this awesome grip texture. It offers plenty of traction without being too abrasive for carry. Plus, you could swap the back strap to better fit your hand. The Echelon's grip is also nice. The texture is all over and even includes a slight thumb rest. It also comes with back straps, just like the PDP. But in this category, I have to give it to the PDP. The PDP's grip feels better in hand and has superior grip texture. Now, let's talk about mags. The PDP comes with two 18 round metal mags. They're solid and I've had no issues with them. The Echelon, on the other hand, comes with two metal mags, one 20 round mag and a 17 rounder. It also includes a three round mag extension for the 17 rounder, effectively giving you the option to have two 20 round mags. I know some of you might have seen some of the videos where the Echelon mags fall apart, but in my experience, they've held up great. I've put over 2000 rounds through my Echelon, most of them during course of fire classes, where I'm constantly dropping these mags on concrete floors. I've even deliberately dropped these mags a lot to really test their durability. I've dropped them empty and fully loaded on concrete floors and had no issues at all. For me, the Echelon takes this round. Its mags holds more rounds and 
then the three round extension for the second magazine is a nice touch. When it comes to modularity, both offer ways to swap different size slides and grips, but I think Springfield executed this better with the Echelon. It's much easier to remove the cog system to swap grips, so the Echelon wins this category too. Last but not least, let's talk about the shooting experience. Both are fun to shoot and accurate pistols, but as I mentioned earlier when we were talking about the barrels, the PDP is much snappier than the Echelon, which in my opinion makes the Echelon nicer to shoot. All right, it's time to reveal who's taking the W, and the winner is the Springfield Echelon. Clinching victory in seven out of the nine categories. With its hammer forge barrel, flawless slide serrations, and an impressive viz system allowing you to mount up to 30 different optics without needing any mounting plates, plus a solid factory trigger, modular cog system, and the added perk of having a three round mag extension floor plate for the 17 round mag, it's a clear winner. But no matter what, they are both great pistols. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you're in the market for CCW insurance, check out Right to Bear. Link is in the description below. Use coupon code UBR10 to get 10% off your entire order. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and sharing the channel with a friend. Your support helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.